Welcome to Raw Talk. Tonight we have JT Von Bass, Jim Bean, or Wicked Vapor, Wicked Vapor, and King Test Tube. Howdy, baby. How's everybody doing? Doing well. Tonight, a manic Monday. Yeah. <laughs> On a Wednesday. So, uh, what you, uh, how, how you been, uh, Dylan, how, how you feeling? How's work going? Work's going good. Anxiety is up there. Like I was telling you before the, before we kicked off the show. Yep. But other than that, went from 376 down to 279, almost a hundred pounds down. Nice. Yeah. Just need. Go. About three more pounds to hit the hundred mark. Yep, you're close yeah. enough. Your body yeah. weight very fluctuates, like one and a half to three pounds throughout the day. Yep. Well, Chuck, like, like I was telling you a couple of shows prior when I was on, you know, I'll go throughout the whole day without eating, and then by the time I get home, depending on if I'm hungry or not, I'll I'll eat, mm-hmm. and. And that's just about it. But yesterday and a few other days prior, my job wound up off, uh, wound up getting food, and I did eat. So yeah. Well, you're good- you're on track though. I mean, you're doing fine. Ozempic's working. The Nutrisystem's working. Everything. Hey, is that Ozempic making you nauseous? When I first started it, like the first two weeks, I was perfectly fine. Yeah. It was just the third week after I took it. Like that's that third Sunday. Mm -hmm. Going through till about maybe that Wednesday. I was absolutely nauseous and I had to call out of work. Yeah. I believe it. But other than that, after that third week, I was perfectly fine. Good. Good, good. Hey, Jim. How you feeling? How you doing? How's the truck? Doing well. Truck still. <laughs> Bad yeah. Six weeks later. Mm-hmm. I have faith in 
mechanics, but uh, I don't care. I'm still running that truck, and I'm running it now like I stole it, so I don't care. <laughs> still can't yeah. blame me, my brother. How you feeling, JT? Aggravated, angry, pissed off, and hungry. Fine. <laughs> Other than that, everything's just beautiful. Yeah. How are you feeling, Chuck? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Just ate dinner. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, but who's with you and what do you want? <laughs> yeah. So, what are we vaping on, Jim? What are we vaping on? Well, creature of habit. I've got the TAC-21 with a blaze. Single ID. Uh, I got my burrow in honor of Bobby. Uh Love this fucking little mod. And for George, we got the Las Vegas Paranormal with the... What the, what the heck is it? Las Vegas? Oh, the intake. Uh, dual RTA on top of that. Uh, I'm only running the one juice, my strawberry cake. So uh, that would take us to JT. Oh, man. I'm just sitting here going round and round. I got two juices. I've got... Great phenomenon. I'm running it in both the bulk on top of the Gower 21. We've got it on the uh, bumper with the nudge on top. And this is pretty cool. Little, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a cool setup. Mm -hmm. I like the nudge. And I went, like I said last week, and got the Serpent with my $5 winner. Got it on top of the, <clears throat> what is it? Freemax Maxis Solo. Makes a nice little setup. Pretty good. And I had to break out the old Berserker again. Put it on Z1 Digi Flavor. Running my, uh, it's like a cigar tobacco blend juice they make for me over there at Prodigy. And let's see, for my uh, Remembrance George's Lost Vape. Centaurus with extreme eyes, only extreme eyes. Other than that, I got fiddly bits laying around. What are you vaping on there, uh, King Test Tube? So, oh, Pulse the 18650 version running the Lemonheads. Um, disposable Elf Bar. Uh, is strawberry pear orange ice and for George Laws Vape Orion 2 with the strawberry pineapple oh no pineapple upside down key. That now, uh go ahead, I'm sorry. I was gonna <clears throat> pass it over to you, but you were about to ask me a question. Yeah, I was gonna ask you uh the pulse. How how easy or how hard is it to put a, a coil in that for you? At first I kind of struggled with it, but after seeing, you know, suck my mod, and I believe I want to say either Mike or Vogan, it was it, it got a little easier because mm. once I saw them putting it in, I realized you had I had to space the coil out just to be able to get the legs in, and and that's just about it. Well, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Mm -hmm. What? This takes time. You're not wrong, but to pass it over to finish the buffets, <clears throat> it was leader, raw chuck. All right. Well, tonight I've got the bulk. Wait a minute. The bulk on the Sigeli Fog. I've got, I'm doing simple tonight. I've got the, uh, Pulse V.5 with got a pulse bridge in it and another pulse V.5 with the Maven clone. Ah, there we go. Maven clone. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a lot harder to build on, but the flavors there, it makes it worthwhile to do that. <clears throat> it's really good. And I've got the top side 
with the Pulse Dual, Pulse 24 on top. And in these, I'm running my own liquid because I've got some Stevie Marquez, but I like to vape that in the scrape. I didn't know the Pulse came out with an RDA. Who? I didn't know the Pulse came out the, with an RDA. Yeah, that was the second version. Yeah. They put that in with the uh, 2700 that they okay. put out. Yeah. It's got a lot of airflow. I was tempted to send this oh, yeah. to Jim. <laughs> it's got that much airflow. Yeah. But it's the only one I got, so never mind. Uh, can't have it. Can't oh, have God. it. <laughs> What a guy. Uh, let's see. Shout out to people out in chat there, Chuck. Yeah, let's do that. What's going on hmm. there, Ed Barkley? Here. Um, turn to live chat and then go to participants. We've got Ed Barkley, Hitman. JJ's here. Hey, JJ. JJ. For yeah. Did you been here? Dylan's just been ignoring him. No, mm -hmm. oh, I just noticed it. Um, Chuck, JJ says giving away bulks for the reach around. Oh, is he? I'm not sure. Are we? Is that a question mark? <laughs> or... bulks? I don't have I any think more. He was, I think he was asking about if we were going to give away Dylan. Ah. Nope. Shout out to Vinny since Vinny is here. Vinny's here. Uh, see who else norcal and that's that's what we got for tonight sorry that bobby bobby and george couldn't kim, make it huh i saw kim c in chat yeah kim c was there earlier. bachelor yeah bachelor's here right now we got myself ed barkley hitman jj J, uh, jt yourself yeah Vinny, norcal and the other two panelists, Rod, Chuck, and Wicked Vapor. Yep. And, and there's your dad. Dave. Hey, Dave. And now hey, Dave. my father. Oh, by the way, I was going to say, I was going to mention that uh, George and uh, Bobby couldn't be here tonight. They're they're not quite up to it. Our prayers go out to them, and they're welcome here anytime. Yes, sir. Boy, that makes it sound like they got fired. Right? <laughs> That's where to put it. Yeah. So what do we got for content? Oh, an appeals court. Here, hang on a second. You're going to like this. An appeals court scales back orders squelching Biden administration contact with social media platforms. What they're saying is they cannot coerce um, CDC and FBI and the Biden administration are not allowed to coerce social media platforms in um, homogenizing the words we use or our speech by by threatening to uh, charge them as an in an antitrust. They uh, let's see, yeah, Surgeon General, CDC, FBI cannot coerce social media platform platforms to take down posts the government doesn't like and oh that's called free speech my freedom of speech mm -hmm. yeah yeah well it's it's more what it is in that case it's the government saying that they want the right to go out there and censor anybody with no restraint on what they do yeah well this is saying that they can't they can't do that anymore yeah. um but they they threw out a lower court uh, a, a lower court had, had even broader uh, terms on that, and they pulled it back a little, but it still allows for a bit more free speech than we had recently. No, if you want to talk about the free speech, when you talk about Owen Schroyer, yep, sixty days for saying things. And oh they, no! But they did him a favor for sixty days. Oh, okay, that's what yeah. it was. Oh. I totally missed that story. Well, there is a CNN report about what we discussed before show. Mm -hmm. Mitt Romney announces he won't seek re-election as he calls for new generation of leaders. 
On top of that, I just found out a new topic from MSNBC where close to the learning of Trump is banned from office. They got to prove uh, stuff first. If you believe anything from MSNBC, I, Listen, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I, I, got, I, got some, I got some ocean front, front property on the west side of Texas, I'll sell you. Yeah. I don't believe that for one bit. You wouldn't have said anything about it. Because it keeps popping up. <laughs> it keeps popping up. Yeah, but you don't have to bring it up. I'm not saying, no, I appreciate the content. Oh. It's just that. They say a whole lot of shit oh, that yeah. has not yet been proven right or wrong. You're not wrong about a that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if if they just, had anything on Trump, a, he would be in jail right now. They can't even make shit up right. Exactly. You know, he's been the most transparent public figure of the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. Do you think he would screw up? It would have to be on purpose, I'm thinking. Yeah, he's got, and, he's, and he's only going to be better now because he has to. Yep. He has to prove now. Yep. That's true. You, you better don't have to like the man. You just have to not like this administration. Right. Yeah. I'm not telling you what to think, Dylan. I'm just no, it, saying I'm not, that. I'm not, believing, I'm not believing MSNBC is just, you know, as I was about to say, you know, all these news Places, whether it's MSNBC, ABC, CNN, they're always, CNN, they're always trying to, you know, just put lies out there like, like that, you know, just it's called so propaganda have, straight from the right, White House, mm -hmm. just to, you know, have something just to put out, just to have oh. people who watch the news and, and read about the news, you know, yeah. well. Actually, get until to Obama it. became president, there used to be this law called the Smith Munt Act, and the United States government was not supposed to be putting out a propaganda to the American people. But Obama let it die on his desk, so they never upped it. And now, look what we've got yeah. either way, yeah. Oh, Pelosi's running again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. They sped up the video, man. She ain't running nowhere. That's a whole joke. <laughs> Pelosi and Pelosi self in the right mind is a whole dis disgrace. Yeah, but that's fine and dandy. If they vote for her again, they deserve everything they get. Yep. Yeah, look how good San Francisco's done since she's been in office. Yeah. <laughs> she's 83, by the way. Oof. 83. So you swear she's 83 because she looks like she's 103. I know. No. Dude, she's so old, they kicked her out of line. It's going to the glue factory. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you're right, NorCal. She will win. Yeah, she will. In her district? Yep. Yep. Danny so Masterson got 30 years right. for raping hey, two women. Right. Hey, Chuck, Batch is complaining about you in chat. Who is? Bachelor, the, the drunk. Says you don't like him anymore. Dave's <laughs> not here, man. <laughs> Open the door. I got the stuff. <laughs> Who Mama. is it? Open the door. It's Dave. I got the stuff, man. Dave ain't here, man. <laughs> I mean, Norco does have a point. Pelosi is pulling 80% of her district. Mm -hmm. so, she, so in a way, NorCal does have a point. She's going to win in more ways than one if she is pulling 80% of the district anyway. Mm -hmm. well, at least I don't have to look at her as Speaker of the House anymore. So. No. Right. <clears throat> yeah. No. I think That's she said she wants younger people to take over that position. Oh, yeah. Let's get like, AOCs all around, everybody. Yay. <laughs> Another waste of skin and bone. I know her parents need to be beat. Right. <laughs> Somebody throw hot water on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here, let me bring this up on uh, on uh, screen here. 
y'all y'all can't see what I'm putting on the screen because it's only in OBS. Uh, but the chat chat can. It's Google versus the U.S. in the biggest antitrust trial in decades. Here's what's at stake. We know what's at stake. <laughs> no, we can't see it. So how do we know? Yeah. No, we already know. We already know. Hey, hey JT, my father just said, don't even joke. Hey. About what? Whatever comment you said before, he said, don't even joke. <clears throat> yeah. They, uh, Department of Justice Tuesday opened, what is it? Opening, it's, they announced the opening of the biggest U.S. Antitrust trial in a quarter century. <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, AT and T was the last one, I think. Yeah, look what that got us. Yeah, AT T and AT and T is back where they were. Mama, mama, Bill. Okay, JT, I know what I know what, what he means when he when uh, he's I got it, Dylan. Me. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Bachelor, you better bite your tongue, you SOB. You're a drunk. So over the next 10 weeks, federal lawyers and state attorneys general will try to prove that Google rigged the market in its favor by lock excuse me, by locking its search engine in as the default choice in a lot of different places and devices. Yeah. But they're all doing that. I mean, if you buy a car. If if it's got Google Voice, but you've got an uh, Apple iPhone, it's like it's not compatible. All, dude, all that, the- that, that that SEC falls under the same umbrella of the people going after Elon Musk for hiring American citizens. Right? Yeah. Idiots. Oh man. But. Wasn't hiring illegals illegal at one time? Yeah, I and thought it was. Still on the books. Well, Isn't it in the name illegal? I mean, mm-hmm. illegal alien. Yeah. Um, oh wow! The, they filed the Justice Department filed that antitrust lawsuit against Google nearly three years ago. It was during Trump, and. uh it's just taking them this long to get around to it, get their ducks in order. So far, it's just, those are vague. Those are vague uh, charges. It's like mm-hmm. they're just casting a net. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think we're more like throwing pasta on the wall. Yeah. Thank you. That's exactly what it is. And that's putting it nicely. Back to but- don't let me now. Them big names are in the news. You're not watching what's really happening. Right? Exactly. Well, well, Jim, that that's what I mentioned on last week's show. You know, when we were discussing the whole Trump situation, and I, and I mentioned, you know, he's running Twitter and everything else. And I said, you know, there's a lot of people that don't have smartphones, computers, and things like that. You know, you also have to remember there's some people who are in well into their 90s as well, don't have a TV. Or anything. So all they have is like the newspaper and things like that, just to you know read what's going on. Whoa, uh, <clears throat> I, 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 I'm finding that harder and harder to believe. Older today. than you, older, older than you. Thank you, JT. There's people no that disrespect. will not. There was people that will refuse to have those. That that that's what I was leading into. They refuse. Okay, but given that, all right, I'll give you that. There are people out there that aren't plugged in. They don't know what's going on, but these people still have to buy gas. These people right. still have to buy groceries. These people are still paying their power bill, their water bill, and watching it go up and up and up. Right. Uh, it's it's getting harder for them to cover this shit up now because mm-hmm. they, they buffaloed them back in 2020 because Trump had things running smooth. Well, right. it's smooth. It could be, you know, going. And, you know, everything's great. Everything's great. It's Trump's fault. Gas yeah, went up. It's Trump's fault. The jobs went away. It's Trump's fault, but you've had three years to fix this shit, and now people are waking up. Yeah, uh, and the two main bodies they're counting on, the Mexicans and the blacks, are fighting each other now. So they're losing that. Yeah, 
you know, and you don't go out <clears throat> bragging about creating jobs when you're dismantling pipelines, shutting down oil rigs, or any yep. other manufacturing yep. or processing. It, yeah, or taxing them so much that any remaining manufacturers in this country move oh, overseas. Wait. Wait till it hits. They're even talking about this. It was either out of New Zealand or Australia. Meat will have to be prescribed. Yep. And that's why whoever I was having a conversation with, I said, you know, with everything going on now, this country is blown up from the inside out. Uh, it's not hit that point yet. Or at least it's destroying itself from the inside out. I want oh, yeah. to get back to what JT said. They're they're so far behind on meat that they're going to have to start prescribing it. They're gonna they're talking about your hat. You're gonna to have to have only so much a month you can have, and you have to have a prescription. Now I think the first one was pork, is what they were saying. Mm. Mm. But, yep. So. You know, Pulled pork sandwiches are going to be uh, are going to be medical food. But technically, isn't beef a plant based item? You think? How's that? Because that's all they eat is vegetation. They don't they don't eat meat. That's right. So beef a beef critter is plant based. Yeah, exactly. So it actually means you're a vegan if you're eating steak. Correct. <laughs> Yes, your I'm your food. Yes, and your food shits on their food. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, what I want to know: the vegans, what do they use for fertilizer if they're all against uh, animals? If they're all against using animals oh, at all? Good question. Yep. Norco just said they eat kangaroo. Plenty of those fuckers. <laughs> It's I'm true. Like try real kangaroo. Yeah, they can. They can. You guys don't remember the foot. Long. Yeah, you guys don't remember the foot long tacos from Jack in the Box that was supposed to be full of kangaroo meat. Ooh. No, uh, we don't get a Jack in the Box. That was so. back in the that was back in the late seventies, early eighties. Oh. You know, my kangaroo father called, meat. You know, my father called White Castle burgers uh, rat burgers. Yeah, that's about the right size. <clears throat> I'd try that. If, if you, you know, if you had a clean one and cook it up, I'd try it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but uh, something about boiling a piece of burger meat on a grill. Yeah. No, that, that, that's, that's where I have the problem with. You boil that's, meat, you're going to hell. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. And they even honestly, poke holes in it. I mean, in all honesty, there's picture, pictures floating around Facebook out from I don't know how many years ago. People make the fun of the Chinese people for what they cook. There was pictures floating around of them putting cats in in the food, killing the cats, putting dogs as ribs and stuff like that. And I'm like, this I don't even know. This is making me not want to eat any more food. What what the hell? Dude, never try to find out what Oriental food is made I, out of. I don't. I'm just scrolling. Yeah. Hey, Facebook even here, place. even this far away from the border. There's been restaurants busted serving dogs and cats, Mexican restaurants. Yep. Yeah, we had one years ago that was selling cat. I mean, uh, this is why I, restaurant. I mean, this is why when I whenever I talk to my father about pizza, this is why I just tell him gas station pizza is the best. But no. you can't you can't rag on the Chinese what they eat. I mean, they went through they eon went of deprivation yeah. and Hey, don't forget mm -hmm. that we're the first country that their dictator told them they will eat grass and they will like what they're having for dinner. Although um, I did watch a documentary on YouTube. I can't remember what they call it. Pag Pag or some, some silly name. But it's recycled food. They literally go through the garbage, pulling out food, wash it, cook it back up and serve it. Yep. Oh, huh? man, I've seen it was a hard. It was a hard thing to watch. It really yeah. was. Oh, there was a video of this <clears throat> fat girl talking about she had a job feeding this person. The person wanted to be fed so much that it would kill him. Yeah, that's going to keep you in the house. They call it feeding. Yeah. Feeding. 
Hmm. Uh, what is that? You know, they convinced them to cut off their legs. You're going to be uh, a transformer, you know? And that was a fad for a while from the same group that eats Tide Pods. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's I think that's we should have encouraged it, but. I'll tell you what, man, I did dishes last night. Well, put them in the dishwasher. And what do you know? Calgon's got some good looking pods. I mean, listen, mm. the, hey, listen, brother, that's that's for the generation below me. <laughs> Actually, that's some of those people are in your generation. They were yeah. in their 20s. And those people are retards, Chuck. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, again, they are. Person. They are. Yeah, but again, those those same people that's in my generation and and below me, those are the same people that sit there by the jewel like like I did. You know, they they order the, all their all the pods from Amazon and stuff like that, not not knowing what the hell is in it, and then they wind up in the hospital. They don't yeah. order them from Amazon or wherever they order it from. Yeah. And Dylan, when you get twenty years old, people will talk about you that way. KT. Five years, five years, but KT. You got, hang on, you'll get there. JT, I am 26. Bite your tongue, sir. And NorCal, no, I did not. I want the glow in the dark zombies there, hippie. <laughs> yeah. That'll be much more fun. Oh, man. I saw Return of the Living Dead again a few weeks ago. That movie. That if it wasn't a cult classic, it should have been. It is. Oh, that's it is. Thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Chuck, you're gonna get a kick after at what Ray just said. He goes, I know now this is a this is three men and a baby, twenty twenty three version. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. You <laughs> nailed it, bud. You yeah. nailed it right on the head. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Trump's lawyers seek recusal of judge in D.C. presiding over federal election subversion case. Yes, but in a real courtroom and courthouse, not the kangaroo kind, you could actually, they would actually do that. Yep. And I forgot, I forgot what they said was the conflict. <clears throat> well, Vinny, uh, is there something you really need to talk about? Let us know. About Let us know now. I need a DNA test done. I'm still waiting on the DNA test from Mark. Thank you. Hey, uh, can you let JT finish what he was saying? I'm done. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, Fast Times is on Netflix now. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, man. I have never seen that or heard of it. Yeah, that was a classic. Risky yeah, business. Look at, look at what he's turned out to be. That was a good movie. Wait, so oh, what, what? Go ahead. My question is, what's that show even about? You have to watch it. It's yeah. about high school. It come back out in a time when there was this stuff called comedy that people would be able to perform and just, you know, everybody would laugh at it and go, ha ha, and move along. Yeah. Ancient times. Yep. yep. Bad times, risky business was another one. Yeah. Uh, Weird science. Weird yeah. science. That was one of my favorites. Kelly LeBrock was, she was one of my favorites until she fucked to go. Uh, so well, she yeah. became his punching bag. I'm definitely going to watch and, it. And I lost all respect for her. But she was hot in that movie. Yep. Porky's, yeah. Anybody yeah. was anybody. Porky's. Yeah. You got to have the Blues Brothers and uh, the Blues Brothers, National Lampoon. Uh, the Blues Brothers, I've heard of because my father's mentioned it a couple of he mentioned them a couple of times. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. You know, I'm seeing what they're saying on the news about Lahaina. But JT, you know a great deal more about that than I do, I'm guessing. No, no, really I, I've been keeping up on it. Uh, when I heard about the water, bodies washing up on uh, Lanai, that was about it for me. Uh, Man. That's... You see Oprah going on TV trying to defend, asking for donations. Uh, yeah. Well, Dolly Parton during the, during the wildfires in Virginia... He put on a concert and donated the proceeds. That's no different. I kind of is. She <laughs> used her talent and donated everything that came from that. You're asking me, the guy that can't put gas in his truck, to donate when you're sitting on two and a half billion dollars. Mm-hmm. You live there. Wouldn't you help your neighbor? Yes, I would. <clears throat> well, no, Jim, it, it, to answer your question on helping my your neighbor... It depends on the circumstances. No, not in a case like that. When when when, when people are dead and the whole community is burned out, no, it, it, you you got to put everything aside. It, okay, it, it well, needs to be... okay, well, in that case, then yes. But in any other circumstance, it depends on what circumstance it is. Yeah, but we're talking about why well, we're talking about a community that was purposely burned out. Uh, hundreds of people dead just to steal their land on an unanswered question. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My father states, depends if they're, sh- if they're going to share their meat. <laughs> yeah, well, the rich people on the island want the property that the poor people have. Well, that's it. And, and miraculously, their property didn't get damaged. It's all the property they want. Yep. Yeah. It's one mom. They say it's nothing so the most, yeah, yeah. Nothing to hear. It's the most expensive land right now in the world. Mm-hmm. Well, at the time. <clears throat> but, you know, hey, the governor come out and told them straight up, oh, we'll probably wind up having to take them all over. Yeah, they, oh my God, they're pissed off at Biden now because of that shit. And I don't blame them because they're not doing shit. Biden came out and tried to tell him he commiserates because he had a mild fire in his kitchen. Yeah, I know what you're going through. Yeah. The fuck does a mild fire in the kitchen have to do with actual your... Exactly. Burning? Yeah. As somebody told him it's like he would make a connection with the people if he felt their pain. Somebody needed to tell him he doesn't feel their pain. He doesn't know what it's like. Someone needs to tell him to kick rocks. Yeah. What island, Ben? There's a lot of lithium in Hawaii. I didn't know that. Right. It's something I would know about. I used to take lithium. I know. Oh, so Biden will be selling it to China soon. Yeah. yeah. If the Chinese don't already own the island that it's on. Yeah. I know uh, Norco just asked a very good question. Mm. Isn't Oprah one of the richest women a lot, uh, in America? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's worth 2.3 or 2.4 billion. Yeah, that's why uh, <clears throat> the residents didn't. Uh, well, that's why it was so funny that she's standing there asking for donations, and she's got enough money to clean it up herself. Yeah, and the uh, and just to make it even go over the top, let's throw in the rock. He's falling yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, that'll make the people go for it. Yeah, that didn't go over so well. If they had started I, off. I, I overlooked the rock supporting Biden because he was always a decent Joe. He was the celebrity that would stop and buy a tour bus and take pictures and laugh and joke with the people. Yeah. He, I mean, funny. He was personable. But now he's kind of pushing it again. He's falling back in with the wrong crowd. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what's this about the shutdown of Aquaman 2? Oh, I haven't heard it. 
I don't know. Let me f- see if I can find that. Oh, yeah. Wait, are they still doing Deadpool versus Wolverine? That I would know nothing about. I don't... Now we're going to get demonetized. Nah. I'm not, I'm not monetized. <laughs> Dylan, wipe your chin. Shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. No now, way. Aquaman 2 wasn't actually canceled, in case anybody was curious. Oh. Um, I'll, I'll try to read a little bit about it this real quick. Yeah, Warner Brothers and DC Studios, they're not... Mm, those people don't know how... They've forgotten their customer. Marvel forgot their customers. Sony... Warner Brothers, DC, they don't give a fuck. They've forgotten how to create a product that we want to buy. No, they are dictating to you what the government wants you to see. And it seems like that was done before in history. And they're also getting a little upset because they thought they were gods. They thought people worshipped them. And they're finding out with this strike that we really don't care. Mm -hmm. Nobody's up. Nothing's coming out. They polled uh, 10,000 people. About the writer's strike and, uh, you know, Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon and all that were running reruns. Mm-hmm. 81% of the people didn't realize it, didn't care. Didn't care. Oh, oh well, <laughs> don't care. Yeah. And on top of that, name at least three original movies that's been put out of Hollywood that were of any notoriety. Well, the last one was the Top Gun movie. Yeah, but that yeah. was part two. Yeah, that was, was the last one. That was made pre COVID. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nothing new. Well, he, nothing new. So why well, should we stop any of our time to give them any money? Wait, wasn't yeah. the recent Rambo out of Hollywood as well? That's that's the part last of the series. Rambo's movie stuck. You know, I I thought the new fast the Fast Ten movie was gonna be good, but people kept coming and be like, No, don't even waste your time watching it. It sucks. Oh, I could have told you that when they started the series. No, and I'm not going to lie. In the beginning of the series, it was phenomenal because all it was about was racing. But once after Tokyo Drift, that's when it went downhill. Okay. What do you mean after Tokyo Drift? Tokyo Drift killed it. No, it did not. That was the worst. They, they could have made it better by... Switching the fourth one in Tokyo Drift because it made in in all honesty, it made no sense because the fact how do you how do you put Tokyo Drift as number three, and then number four you put put a movie where you have Dom and, and Han talk about going to Tokyo. I don't know. I, I after Tokyo Drift, I stopped watching the damn thing. On the suck meter, Jim, is it up there with Star Trek three? Yes. Hey, I kind of like Star Trek. <laughs> the original. Yeah, I'm talking about the whale. That was awesome. Come on. Fox used the colorful metaphors. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Scotty sitting there. Computer. Computer. <laughs> the funny thing uh, is, the hell are you doing? something, a technical note about Star Trek, um, when they were doing the, the whales, the ship when they were looking for a nuclear vessel, yeah. that, that was that was the Carl Vincent, which is the same. I think it's the same class as the Enterprise. I'm not sure, but they yeah, filmed the Carl was, Vincent. I, and I thought that was a good one. Yeah. Speaking of Star Trek, my father just says the uh, original Star Trek movie sucked. Hey, 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 no. No, it no. didn't. They were what they were. I said it damn thing. Oh. Only because of the and, fact and, I'm not a fan. But I will admit the new Star Trek movies are, are pretty decent in their own right. If you knew nothing about Star Trek, you don't have to be a fan. Start with Star Trek, and they, they are pretty good movies. I enjoyed them. Dave, enjoyed them. Dave, my mom's on the phone. She said, I can't play with you anymore. <laughs> That's a collect call from hell, too. Hey. 
hitting the big time, throwing up porn on us and everything. Yeah. Teaching yeah. it. Teaching aids. <clears throat> I'm not oh gonna God. lie. I, I'm the, I'm just a huge fan of Star Wars. If it's, but other than that, I just steer away from Star Trek. Yeah, NorCal. That's one of the best ones. I was just I, gonna say that was Gorn, a really good one. Gorn, oh, what's this guy? Uh, Bill Little. He used to be off in the movies and shit. He's got a full size Gorn. He keeps in the background of his uh, live streams and shit. Didn't they shoot yeah. oh. the? They didn't they shoot the live parts or the location shots somewhere outside of Las Vegas or was it still in California? I think it was the biggest thing about Star Trek you need to remember is just don't be the big crew member. Yeah, Scotty is the only one who can get away, go on an away mission with a red shirt on and survive. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, don't be a red shirt. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the colored rocks. Brush up colored rocks and use a hollow log as a cannon. You know? Yeah. Scotty is the only Scotsman that can survive, even in a red colored shirt. Oh, what are you making fun of MacGyver now? No, I'm not making fun of MacGyver. MacGyver makes things out of anything. What are you talking what's about? His, what's that name? Angus. Oh, uh, shit. It's a Scottish MacGyver. name. MacGyver. It's a Scottish name. MacGyver is a Scottish name. <laughs> Hi, guys. Chuck here. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy directs Don't committee. Don't you cuss at me to, like that. Huh? Don't you cuss at me like that. He's directed a committee to open Biden impeachment inquiry. Yeah, but that just basically amounts to can we have permission to ask about impeaching him? Yeah, yeah that's true. But it's taking the proper steps. Yeah, well, no, I get it. I get it. Do the proper steps, but I say stomp their guts out. Yep, yeah. exactly. They started. Right. Yep, play by their rules. You don't <laughs> want it this way. Here we go. Yeah, it's on now. Yeah, so right now it's just the inquiry. Uh, but I do agree. If we do everything by the book, you know, it's just less they can come back. They'll 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 find something wrong with it. But you know. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read that one, NorCal. The guy that got away, the prison escapee, the illegal. Oh, apparently one from the, Pennsylvania? Yeah. Apparently a dog named Yoda got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with the Jedi. Hell, man, all the Border patrols sit there and jumped in on the selfie with him and shit. <laughs> Good times. And then they, years later, they created that thing called Baby Yoda. We called it Baby Yoda. They didn't give it. I agree, name. Troy. Oh no! A after they, after they kept hearing Baby Yoda, this Baby Yoda, that was when they came out with the name for. It. I can't remember the exact name that they gave him. But that's just another example of, uh, of the fucking movie studios dictating shit they fired the the person the mandalorian was two gina main carano. characters to me huh gina carano yeah, yeah she was fucking good and it's like but she had her own opinion yeah yep. well the worst part she probably scared him because didn't she have an mma background yeah i think so under so was marjorie taylor green no, this is not Ron Rousey or or any of the other MMA guys that are in WWE with MMA backgrounds. Yeah, but what? Yeah, what does that got to do with what we were saying? You brought up MMA backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the the people. <laughs> we're talking about the Mandalorian. Yeah. Anyway, but that was, she was one of the main driving forces for me watching that show because she was badass. It's like, okay, well, we're not, and, and the Mandalorian doesn't have to be the same person and, and all this shit. And I'm like, fuck you people. 
Yeah. Yeah, but her problem was she had an opinion, and she exactly went up to think that she was allowed to voice her opinion. Yeah. But that was at the start of it. That's that's when things really started getting bad. Where, you know, you couldn't say, uh, "I like." green jelly beans because you know the China. majority red and now all of a sudden you're the terrorist yeah yep well hopefully hopefully we'll actually be able to talk about current events as they're happening in the near future hopefully but when you can lock a man up for what he says about a particular event you know we're I, it's beyond third world banana republic. It yeah. really is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're pushing North Korea here. Speaking of North Korea. Pretty soon it'll be pick a haircut. Kim yeah. Jong un has finally uh went back and met with Putin again yeah. recently. A lot and, of uh, stock. I let's see. Yeah. Yeah. They're they want to commiserate. So that worries me, you know, if if North Korea could possibly motivate Russia and China to get together and, and you know, I don't know. I it's don't... just weaponry they're buying. That's all they were talking about. Oh, good. That's a relief. iPhone 15. What were you saying about the iPhone 15 earlier, Dylan? So basically, the iPhone 15 is coming in four different colors in in a titan in titanium casing. They took away the Lightning USB cable. They're putting USB Type C in for it. The new AirPods Pro charging case. They're putting USB Type C in it. So basically, they're gonna put they're gonna have their computers, the iPads. Their phones and their AirPods case with one cable. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Whereas Good. that way, if you have multiple products using USB C, you don't have to ca- sit there carrying five different cables. Two different cables, yeah. Yeah. But to use the Type C charging, you've got to replace everything you've got right now. Right. But and they- you Apple geeks will fall in line and pay the money. Yep. Right, but the thing is, if you have those those people that are going to sit there and be like, oh, well, Samsung's been doing this for X amount of years. Mm-hmm. Well, Apple is just trying to, what's it called? In their own words, trying to make it better for their products. No, I think, I think Apple is a cult. Oh. I mean... Oh. Benny's got it right. It was a push by the EU to get standardized. Hmm. That's I don't know. We can just battle all day long. I yeah. I like my thirty dollar Android, and I'm good yeah. with it. But right. they are talking about making uh, replaceable batteries for uh, phones. Right, but here's what they're still also in the works with. They're still supposedly in the works of making a folding iPhone, which Samsung's already already done it. Samsung and some other company too, I can't remember, but yeah, they're already doing it. Right. But that that's why they're doing it. That's why Apple's doing it though, is to compete. Right. But the thing is if you really think about it, Chuck, Samsung's been doing the USB type type C charging for at least a, maybe a good, I don't know how many years already. Mm-hmm. It took Apple <clears throat> literally 15 to 16 years to finally do USB Type-C charging. But they well, didn't have to because you people would keep buying the newest version and it boils down to maybe a few more pixels on the camera or a new color and everybody would have to ditch their last one to get the new one. Benny's saying that Benny's saying the EU pretty much forced him into it. Well, in my opinion, that's I have to agree with him on that. Only because of the fact that okay, if you're a major corporation like Apple, 
if you don't want to do something right away, you then you don't have to do it. But I understand, you know, Chuck, like you mentioned, it's for competition purposes. Exactly. Exactly. I don't I don't know how the EU uh managed to coerce them into it, but ultimately it boils down to competition. Because we've all got USB C charging cables. Right. And uh Apple, um, they've been using lightning for the longest time. I feel but, like I should know that hippie, but I'll bite. No, go ahead, Chuck. Keep going. No, no, that's it. Yeah. No, that's true, Dave. Apple hasn't innovated anything since Steve Jobs died. Thanks, Hippie. (laughs) Yeah, Vinny's saying you don't have to agree. You just have to read it for yourself. (laughs) Did he watch your mouth? But the one I like, everybody runs out and gets them. And then what's the first thing they do? They've had them a week. They start complaining and pissing and moaning because it, it sucks. It doesn't do something that the last version didn't do. Yeah. Yep. Shut your mouth, Vinny. I know her boyfriend. <clears throat> and actually, you're fucking drunk. Okay. Eastern Libya had that flooding. Flooding. 10,000 reported missing in deadly floods. Yeah, they haven't got any accurate numbers yet. Yeah, that, that's awful. I mean, that, it's sad. not the best part of the world, but they don't deserve that. No. No, no one does. Yeah, that's from uh, Daniel. Even China was having some flooding. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do I have here? Jets lose Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is a... Yeah. But he'll miraculously be well just after midway through the season. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. What is it? Pro Bowl game? Yep. Well, how do you feel about doing joke of the day now? You up to it, Jim? Uh, let's see. We need a good one. Yeah. All right. You got the local parish priest. He needs his house painted. So he, tell, he hires one of the altar boys to come paint his house. Well, after a grueling day, he finally gets the whole inside of the priest's house painted. He's all sweaty. And the priest looks at the job. He goes, very good job. And he hands the kid $5. And the altar boy looks at him and says, well, thank you, Father. He says, you surely are a virgin. Priest kind of looks at him and just kind of lets it go. Well, the next day he decides he needs the outside of the house painted. And he hires the same altar boy. And again, a grueling day, hot sun. He finally gets the outside of the house painted. And he's standing there. And the priest looks at him and says, that's a very good job, son. Hands him five dollars. And the altar boy looks at him and says, well, thank you, Father. You truly are a virgin. Well, now the, the priest can't hold his tongue. He says, do you really know what that word virgin means? He goes, I sure do. It means tight cunt. <laughs> 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 well, let's see one more. You got another oh, one? Oh, let's see. What's, what's the next one? All right, little Johnny, 10 years old, he goes up to Susie's father and he says, uh, Sir, I'd like to ask for Susie's hand in marriage. Well, Susie's father's kind of amused, so he entertains him. He goes, Well, uh, wait, wait, where do you think you guys are going to live? He goes, Well, my room's adequate. He says, But Susie's room's bigger, so we'll probably stay in Susie's room. That would do us just fine. He goes, Well, how do you plan on supporting my daughter? He goes, well, Susie gets $5 a week in her allowance. I get $10 a week in my allowance. That's more than enough to support us for, for our needs. And his father just kind of checked one of himself. He goes, well, what are you going to do when kids come along? He goes, oh, we've been lucky so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> well, that's the show for tonight. Everybody, thanks for coming out. We sure appreciate it. 
Um, say a prayer for George and Bobby and uh, Mark. And uh, save them. Say a prayer for America. God bless. Be groovy. Save me.